Hey, it's Michelle, michelleaden.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your custom domain to GrooveFunnels using a Google domain. So what we're going to do is go over to Groove. Oops, I was doing something else here. Let's go over to Groove. And in the top right hand corner, you are going to select your little profile photo and then click My Account and then click Domains. We're going to add a new domain here. We're going to do Custom Domains then click Manage, then click Add a Domain. By the way, this is our goal. Our goal is for it to look like this at the end. And what we do is we say, I want this domain to be attached to Groove Pages, Groove Cell, Groove Member, or Groove Blog. Now, let's add a domain. We're going to do a full domain. Click Next. Which domain would I like to add? Let's go over here to Google Domains. I'm going to copy this one and paste it here so it's exact, no typos. Click Next. Then we're going to update our DNS records. It's given us two custom name servers here. Now here's the trick with Google Domains. We're going to copy the first one, go back over to Google Domains. We're going to click DNS on the side, make sure we're in the correct domain that we're wanting to connect here. Up here at the top, there's a, an option for custom name servers. Click that. Here, uh, go down a little bit, it says no custom name servers have been set up, so we're going to set those up. So in the first one here, Command V or Control V to paste. So there's our first one. Let's go back here to Groove and let's pull that second one. We just click Copy and we go back here and we click Paste. Then we click Save. Now, I, I thought I was done here the first time I did this, but actually see this yellow bar right here, it says your domain is not using these settings because it's actually using the default name servers. So all you need to do is click switch to these settings. And now it's under active, custom name servers active. These DNS settings are active. Changes are published immediately, but may take time to propagate. So we're good now. Now it's just going to take a little time for these two guys to connect Google Domains and Groove. And just to confirm that you've done this correctly, click default name servers, and that yellow bar is now here. It's saying your domain is not using these default name server settings because it's now over here using the custom name servers active. So this is what you want to see inside of your Google Domains DNS dashboard. But let's just take a chance over here and check on Groove. Let's see if it's propagated. It probably hasn't, but let's just see. So we're back where we left off. We click Next. And then we want to validate our DNS records. Fingers crossed, not yet. So if you see down here, it says, please try again. It's working on it, it's been initiated. So I'm gonna click complete process. And then what I'm gonna do is come back here and check on this in a little while. So I'll be back really soon. And we're back, it's been about 10 minutes. Probably not enough time, but let's check it anyway. So we're at the same exact spot. We're gonna click click to verify domain validate DNS records. Oh no, we are getting the red mark error. Request failed with status code 404. All right, well, I am going to come back in like two hours. Stay tuned. All right, we're back at it. It's been about three hours. So let's check my account, domains, sub, uh, main domains, custom domains. Click to verify domain, validate DNS records. And we are verified green down here, successfully verified domain in the bottom right corner. So the next thing we need to do, we're secure and connected. So I believe that means we have the SSL certificate. Um, don't quote me on that. Choose primary app for this domain. Let's click that. We're going to do Groove Pages. We could do Groove Cell Branding, Groove Cell Tracking, Groove Member Membership, Groove Member Portal, and Groove Blog. I will get into the, I'll figure all that out later. But for now, Groove Pages check mark and we're good let's see can we just edit it huh okay okay so we could add a subdomain so if we wanted to do group cell we could do like store.rootlyhealthpro.com as a subdomain that's cool all right well i'll figure that out another time and that is how you update or add your custom domain to GrooveFunnels uh, with a Google Domains custom domain. Let me know if you have any questions.